Hello everybody, today this is my September Love Hates video and I got quite a bit of stuff to show you guys this month so I'm not sure where to start from perhaps I start off with all the little small things first um, this, uh, one of my jewellery items are these bracelets that I had from Avon uh, they were going very very cheap and they're very easy to slip on and off so, oop, that one's a bit stuck why is that stuck? So, as you can see, this bit is just like rope, the little jewel at the end. I think it's, these are lovely accessories and they're very comfy to wear. And so far, when they've gotten wet, they haven't stained my arm either. Because sometimes, like when, when your jewel gets wet, it'll stain your arm. So, these are definitely a love for this month. Um, ah. I found this in Wilkinson's, it was on offer, it is the Maybelline uh, 060 Citrus Slice um, Colour Sensational Pop Stick and this is what it looks like. So it's a very uh, clear lipstick and if I just apply it to my hand, I don't know if it can, yeah you can see just a little bit of it, it it's almost it's just like a lip tint, a very light lip tint, but it looks like pink on my hand. But when it's on my lips, you can see that's orange, and it's got it's got a very nice citrusy smell to it. But I can't I can't really tell you what the smell is. I think it's like a mixture of all citruses, but it's got a really nice smell to it. Uh, I was gonna get the pink one, but I couldn't get my hands on the pink one because all the pink ones had run out. What else should I start up with? Ah, uh, as I mentioned before in my last video, this is my Barry M uh, matte nail varnish. So this is the vanilla, and this is the caramel. I haven't used the caramel one yet, but I'm going to use it uh, at some point. So these are definitely a love at the moment because the uh, the neutral color nail varnishes are in at the moment. They're the big um, hot item for fashion. Um. Uh, same with um, like nude makeup, uh, like eyeshadow colours, nude lipstick. That's all in at the moment. All nude colours I've noticed, like a lot of magazines online. So these are definitely love for this month. Well, for last month. Um, I've got myself a new concealer by Avon. And let me show it to you guys. This is the concealer. And it's kind of got like a like a moussey texture to it I don't know if you can see very well so if I just apply it here it blends in very easy uh, nice moussey texture and I had this for this was a free item from Avon I bought a couple of things and I had a couple of free items after um, this is the what colour is this? this is the light beige <clears throat> excuse me the light beige and I'm loving this this month. Um, I've had to throw up my old concealer because it's not working for me anymore. It's making me break out in spots. Um, that one's nice and light. What else? I've got a... Uh oh, this, this sounds broken. Oh no, I'm safe. Um, this is my new um, face powder. This is a Korean uh, one that I bought a while back. It was like on sale on, on like a website that I like to use because all the Korean products goes very very cheapy. Um, a lot cheaper than eBay. Not always cheaper than eBay, but most most things are cheaper than eBay. But I've never found this on eBay, and this is the color. I know it looks very light on camera, um, and it's got, it comes with a mirror, which you know it's very very dirty. Um, it came with a sponge as well and a spare sponge. This, this, this is the um, number 21. Oh, no, sorry. The, yes, this is the number 21 with 21 uh, with the SPF 21 uh, PA++. So it's got sunscreen protection for me as well. Um, I got like mixed feelings about this. This is the L'Oreal. New Ever Pure No Sulfate Color Care System Color Care Protective Mist with UV filters. This has got a really nice smell to it, but like I said, I got very mixed feelings about this because it says you can apply it to wet hair and dry hair. Why I apply it on my hair when it's dry, it makes my hair feel very stiff 
and very, it looks very greasy. But if I put my hair when it's wet, it, it does say that it helps detangle as well. But it, I feel like this makes my hair uh, tangle even more. So it, it does protect the colour of your hair. The colour of my hair has lasted a lot longer than what it normally does. But it's not really doing anything for my hair. So I've kind of given it to my mother and asked her to try and see what she thinks of it. Because sometimes I might not like a product, but she will. Um, but one of the pluses I can give it is that it's got um, UV filter protectors, which your hair does need. Um, even though it's winter now, we've got a lot of rain, but still, your skin and your hair should still be protected. So uh, I don't really know about this one. I'm, I've stopped using it at the moment. Uh, what else have I got? I've got um, two new mascaras that I've been trying. This is I'm Your Cool Flutatious Lashes by Famous. And I'll show you the brush. I really like this brush and it makes my eyelashes come up very nicely. Because um, sometimes um, the formula of the mascara or the brush of the mascara doesn't separate my eyelashes correctly and they kind of clump together. And it looks kind of spidery and I hate it. But this is a good one. Um, this is in uh, black. This is the black brown colour. And this one is the Double Your Chances Volume and Lensing Mascara by Famous. And I'll show you the brush to this one. There we go. I like this brush more because it gets into the corner of my eye um, more easily. It gets the corner lashes quick. Um, easier but I prefer the brush and the formula on this one because it doesn't um it doesn't collect my eyelash together as much as this one but if I you I'm gonna try using them both together at some point like one quart of this and one quart of this and see what happens. Um hopefully that will work. But otherwise um these were extremely cheap. I think I only bought these for like 99 pence each in Superdrug. Um I don't see these anymore in Superdrug, so I'm I'm assuming Superdrug have stopped selling these or it's a discontinued brand. I'm not sure. What else have I got? Um, ooh. I've been using the Clean and Clear uh, Exfoliant Daily Wash, and this was going very uh, cheap in Superdrug. It was on offer, so I kind of had like, I did a like, um, a compulsory buy. I um, bulk bought these, I bought four of these, even though I've never tried them before, I thought, oh, they're going cheap, get a couple. Um, but it turns out I'm not a huge fan, um, but I'm just going to use it anyway just to get get rid of them. Uh, so this is what it looks like, and it does say it's got micro beads in it. Um, perhaps if I... So it does, like, clean your skin very well, but... For me, it's the smell I don't like, and I like a exfoliator that's got lots of beads in it, so I know it's lifted up all the dead skin cells, it's going deep into the pores, getting rid of all the dirt that's in my pores, whereas this, I don't think it's very effective. Um, but I'm going to finish using it up anyway, because, you know, it was cheap, and this is something I only ever use when I'm in the shower, so... It'll just go away slowly and plus I'm pretty sure my, my mother's stealing it as well to use because whatever whatever I have, she's got to have. Um, oh, this is, this is very new for me. I've been using this for a couple of days. This is the Deep Action Facial Cleansing Pads uh, Antibacterial um, Wipes. These are the Super Drug own brand. Um, I've got a pad here to show you. This is what the pads look like. This is the rough part and this is the... Oops, <laughs> that's the smooth part and this is the one I've used this morning so you can see how effective this is that this is how much dirt that's come off my skin this morning so you can see how effective this is and um, once you've cleansed your face with this you don't have to wash your face afterwards um, which is good because your skin is soaking up all the um, all the tea tree, the witch hazel and everything else that's in it. I'm really enjoying those at the moment because I can feel, I'm starting to feel a big difference in my skin because my forehead's been breaking out for some reason this month 
and this is helping exfoliate all the um, dead skin scales and getting rid of all the spots on it. Um, ah, this is something I've only used like once or twice. This is the Lee Stanford Blow Dry Your Hair Faster Spray. And I found this in Home Bargains. I was kind of surprised seeing like, Lee Stanford things in Home Bargains. But this, this actually works. I thought because this is really cheap that it's going to be very crap. I thought but Lee Stanford it's going to be somewhat good. And it does actually work. Because I think it takes me about 15-20 to 20 minutes to dry my hair completely. And uh, after spraying this on I think it only took about 10 minutes maybe. So this does work. It's a... Uh, I can't just try this. It hasn't got um, it hasn't got a horrible smell to it, but it's not particularly pleasant either. Almost kind of like man's deodorant sort of thing. So as you can see, it's not a spray; it's a it's a spritzer, which is very good. Because I think if this was spray, it'll be very easy to um, put too much on and perhaps make the hair stiff and uh, look very greasy after you've just washed it. But this is this definitely works, definitely. Um, I've tried a new dry shampoo this month, well, last month, and this is the Tony Guy Cleanse Dry Shampoo Day 2 Freshness. And I got this like months ago because Boots are having like a, I think it was like three for nine pound, three for 12 pound offer on Tony Guy stuff. So I decided to grab one of these because I've never tried, I haven't tried like a lot of Tony Guy products. So I thought, what the hell, give it a go. And this definitely comes head to head with Tresemme for me. I think Tresemme is the best one that works for me, but this one's working very well for me as well. Um, when I'm brushing it out, I can't see the white that's left in my hair. Um, plus, it doesn't, you can't really see the white when you're spraying it on either. Whereas, like a lot of dry shampoos like um, Batissier, um, or Batisse, I don't know how you say it. Um, um, Patissier is like French pastry, but still, Batiste. Uh, when you spray on, you see the white straight away. It's like you just throw talcum powder on your head. But with this, you can't see the whiteness um, unless you spray too much on. It's the same with Tresemme. You can't see the white powder. It's completely invisible until you, you like you rub your hair, you brush it out, and you're like, oh, it's clean again. So this definitely comes head to head with Tresemme for me. Tresemme is definitely my favorite, and. If, it, if I found this on offer again, I would get another one, definitely. Um, uh, this is not a, um, a product. Um, this is something I've just been using a lot in um, September, which is my Starbucks card. Because I'm a big lover of Starbucks. I hate Costa. I used to really like Costa, but then the coffee for me has gone really horrible. And I converted to Starbucks, well, converted back to Starbucks, because it was Starbucks costing them Starbucks again. So, this is definitely get, if you're um, a big um, Starbucks fan, this is definitely worth getting your hands on. Because, <clears throat> say if you haven't got cash, I know, you've got money in the card ready to pay for it. So, it's very handy, plus it's exactly like the Costa card. Um, when you swipe it, you get a point and you build up to like free drinks free shots, um, free coffees and stuff like that. So definitely worth um, getting. Uh, the next one is um, my phone. I had a new phone in September and here it is. It is the Blackberry Q5. Really loving this phone. It's very easy to use because um, the last one I had was the uh, Blackberry Torch 9860 I think it was um, but it kept freezing up all the time and I've got this lovely case for my phone as well which I found on eBay uh, I think it's for £3.50 so it, it's very good it hasn't um, except it, my phone doesn't fit in exactly very well and plus the um, edge for you is chipped so and it holds my card for you as well so whenever I'm going out my card always stays with my phone so I don't lose it. Um, I've also been using um, the Rejuvenating Cherry Blossom Ginseng Shampoo and Conditioner. I love this shampoo and conditioner. 
it is wonderful it's got a really nice smell to it and it makes my hair feel very fresh and rejuvenated <laughs> it does it, just, it does what it says um the description is the sensual and alluring blend of cherry blossom extracts and Asian ginseng root helps rejuvenate the scalp and hair follicle to add volume at the root while nourishing your hair with replenishing rice milk and bamboo extract for hydration and shine. Definitely worth getting your hands on. Um, <clears throat> if you don't feel like your hair needs rejuvenating, there's also... Um, They've got this in the coconut, they've got this in the Moroccan oil, and this is a keratin one, and there's one more. There's a new one that's come up, they've got a biotin one, but I think at the moment that's only been released in America. I don't know whether it's come over here yet, I haven't seen it anywhere, but I want to get my hands on the biotin one. But this one, definitely worth buying, this range I would buy again, it's wonderful. Um, do, 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 do. Ah, I've got to tell you about this. This um, I love Karen Slaughter. I'm a big fan of Karen Slaughter. Um, I was gonna take this away with me to finish off uh, when I was uh, flying out to Hong Kong, but unfortunately, I finished it before going to Hong Kong, so I was really gutted. But if you've never read Karen Slaughter and you really like crime fiction novels, I definitely get your hands on this. This is a brilliant book. Um. Uh, it's a it's a follow on series, um, her books. So it's always the same characters all the way through. Um, apart from like one or two books that have like got completely different characters in them that die off very quickly. But otherwise, it is carry on series. If you like the carry on series, definitely look up Karen Slaughter. Amazing books. Um, my last thing I gotta say is my love um favorite for the for the September month. Um. It's a TV show. I saw it first when I went out to Hong Kong and it is a Korean comedy. And it's it's all about four men and who are all in their 40s, all having some sort of like a midlife crisis. They're all in relationships and they're trying to keep the relationship strong. And it is hilarious of all these things these people do. The drama, well, the comedy is called... Um, a uh, gentleman with dignity, no, a gentleman's dignity. That's it, a gentleman's dignity. And like I said, I first started watching it out in Hong Kong with my friend because she was hooked on it, even though I didn't know what the hell was going on because all the subtitles was in Cantonese, and she kept get translated me every now and then. So I decided when I came over, I decided I was gonna find it with the English subtitles, and I did. So like, yes, I found it. And I think there's only, I think it's about 20 episodes to it, maybe a little bit more, I can't really remember, I think it's 20 episodes, but it's really good if you like Korean dramas, if you like the Asian culture, if you like listening to things like K-pop, J-pop, C-pop, then you'd like this, you'd definitely get into it very quickly. And yeah, that's it for me for my um, September Love Hates. If you guys have tried any of the stuff I have, um, please let me know what you think of this stuff. Or if you've got like um, a request for a different video, please let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.